I'd love to say I'd found them, but um, in actual fact, what happened was that we saw a gathering of vehicles, which is basically the method of tracking used here in the Mara. These are two youngish males. Is that a third? Is there a third one over there? Is it Craig? I think it might be just a bushel. Just over there. Looks like a sort of coiffeur sticking out. No, it's a rock. Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> and I've seen these chaps before. One of them has that collar. If you go up, to, not that one. The other one has the collar. And so they're used extensively, obviously, to do research on the lines in this area. And they lurk around this area quite a lot. And we're quite close to... We're quite close to Kildesac Crossing. And the other creatures that are around here quite a lot are some buffalo. Can we get them? Or have I parked you beautifully in front of the pole, Craig? Are you right there? There are some buffalo. And the last time I saw these lions, they were kind of interacting with three or four buffalo bulls. I'm pretty sure it's the same bunch. And clearly there has been no further attempt by the lions to have a go at the buffalo. And that's because they're just a bit big in the context of the Mara, given the amount of other stuff there is here for them to eat. There we are. These funny old buffalo bulls, as I've said to you often before, I think that being a buffalo bull in the Mara, infinitely preferable to being one at Juma. The Unkahuma pride has you at the top of the menu, and here, you're very low down on the menu choice. There we go. So let's go back to these chaps and just try and see what ages I think they are. They're possibly from the same pride. They might not be. It looks like the one with the collar, who's now fast asleep, despite the earliness of the morning, is... Yeah, I think he's a little bit younger. I'd put him at about three years old. And I'd put his mate at about three and a half to four, actually. And we might just try and sneak around and see if we can't get a view of the other one's mane. Once there's a vehicle just in front of us, it's going to move off. So we came, we've come onto the river now, thinking about where the herds are, and we have found zero, zero evidence of them here. So we're going to continue on our mission. We'll just do one or two more segments, probably, with this lion, see what they do. But while we move the vehicle, let's head across to Taylor and her elephants.